And the reason why we want her to stand out in the cold is to, to gain that appreciation for the season. <clears throat> you know, we, we want to experience the, bitter, the bitterness and the darkness because by experiencing that, we gain a new appreciation for just the bare essentials of survival. You know, I stood out in just a shirt and pants. I didn't have a jacket, didn't have boots. I was basically in my little moccasins out in the cold. Nothing to warm me up. And it does give you that sense of appreciation. So after we stood out in the cold for about 10 minutes and just looked at the sky, looked at the trees, there's no birds, there's no noise. The only noise is the traffic, you know. There's no animals around, there's no birds. Our house is normally, in the yard is littered with birds. So afterwards we went in back in the house and we lit a fire. And just having the fire, which to me is one of the big symbols of Yule because it symbolizes, you know, being together, snuggling by the fire, keeping warm. It's just the basic symbol of survival. We need to be warm to survive. We need to have shelter to survive. So to me, <clears throat> having that huge contrast between bitter, dark, cold, and being inside, being warm, having food and tea and hot cocoa, and having my, my spirit family, my clan there, that's to me what Yule's all about. And that, growing up, that's what Christmas was all about too. We weren't religious growing up. We were pretty just spiritual hippie crunchies. <clears throat> so what we did for our ritual was we had a yellow candle and a green candle. And the yellow candle was for inspiration. It was also to have protection, you know, of the sun. It was just the sun candle, solar energy, light, brightness, inspiration, in a way, protection and warmth. So that was our yellow candle. And then our green candle was for health and healing because winter everybody's sick I'm getting over something now <coughs> so we passed the candles around and each person got to say a prayer on the candle you know whether it was for health on the green candle or just warmth and, and protection and light for the yellow candle and then afterwards we burned them and we also burned a fire obviously we had a fire but we had bundles of cedar birch cinnamon sticks you know, uh, other symbols of the season and of Yule, we threw them in the fire and they smelled so good. And then I had a charcoal from last year's Yule log bonfire and I we, we kind of wished on that and we threw it in the fire as well. <clears throat> and we also have a tree in our living room, which is, I guess, the, the Yule tree. It's not a Christmas tree for us. It's um, it's a, it's a Yule symbol. And even, even for people who celebrate Christmas, it's a Christmas tree. But in actuality, it's a Yule tree because Christmas trees and Jesus Christ don't go together. <clears throat> so that's Yule, a holiday of light and warmth. Um, other ways we celebrated last night was we were caroling by the altar. We're all chorus girls, so we, we caroled by the altar, sang songs. We sang Christmas songs, but they're so easily made pagan, so easily attributed to the Yule holiday. We replace Christ with, you know, the sun or whatever. Um, joy to the world is very easily pagan. You don't have to change anything, really. So we sang solstice slash Christmas carols at the altar and had whoopie pies and food and tea. And it was very nice. That, to me, is what Yule is all about. It's about being together in a warm fire by a warm fireplace in a warm house with friends and family while the storms are raging outside and it's bitter cold yes it's still winter but it's waning it's the waning time of winter when spring is coming it's gonna start warming up let's celebrate the lights coming back and on the flip side if you're looking at this from a christian perspective like i said the birth of the son of god against the birth of sun or the god of the sun very easily related so i guess you can look at it from both aspects <clears throat> christmas and it's christian take away the christmas tree and the mistletoe and the gift giving of christmas and just call it christmas christmas is very very similar to yule in that basic sense of the return of the sun 
S-U-N and S-O-N. So Yule's in a couple of days. I hope this helped a little bit. Again, I couldn't find any real good history of Yule. I don't have the right books. I, I need to go to the bookstore. We already have 200 books in this house. Clearly that's not enough. So happy Yule, happy solstice, however you celebrate it. Have fun.